Hello my friends, a very good morning. God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. You know that I was thinking, meditating, reasoning and the Holy Spirit gave me a direction, an understanding far greater than that which is written. Jesus said, I came that they may have life and have life with abundance. When God says life, to have life, it's already big, immeasurable. Now, when he emphasizes and says life with abundance, then it escapes the understanding. It escapes everything that we know of greatness, glory, majesty, riches, power, everything, everything, everything. It's a life which exceeds understanding. And when he says this, it is obvious that people who do not have understanding say, Oh, so I'm going to have a house, a car, I will travel, I'll have riches, I'll have family, I'll have this, I'll have that. When a person thinks of the petty things of this world because all these things are rubbish, passerbys, everything we see of this world which has an expiry date, God is not speaking of a life of abundance limited to this world because this world will catch fire and end. He's speaking of a life with abundance which is eternal and it starts, this life of abundance starts in the moment from the moment when the person receives the Holy Spirit. <laughs> have you imagined to have the Holy Spirit within you, the Spirit of creation, the Creator inside of the creation who is small, human, insignificant, poor? No. Not poor or miserable or rejected anymore. They can be rejected by everyone and everything, even by their own parents. But they are not rejected by the Holy Spirit, not rejected by God Himself. When the Holy Spirit comes to make a dwelling within us, then what can this world give to us that will satisfy us? When you have the Holy Spirit, what can the world offer which is capable to at least get near to these riches. There's nothing. This is what irritates the devil. The devil came to Jesus and said, Look, look. He showed the glory of this world and said, Look, all of this is mine and I'll give it to you. Jesus said, It is written. And because he was filled with the Holy Spirit, he had the understanding that nothing that the world could offer could surpass that which he all had, the riches which he had. As it happens with you, my friend, who have the Holy Spirit. Perhaps you are facing tribulations, battles, setbacks, frustrations, you are upset with so and so, the husband, the wife, the boyfriend, girlfriend, with the children, you became frustrated with the things of this world, the people of this world. But don't look to this. Be intelligent. Have the understanding that within you, if you have Him, then you have the greatest riches which a person may have on this earth and for all eternity, not just in this earth, but forever, for all eternity. Because life with abundance which Jesus promises is not limited to the filth, the rubbish of this world, but it is unlimited to eternity. 
You have the riches of God within you. Think about this. Look, think and see that the most important for you is the altar, the spirit of the altar which is inside of you and made you the temple, the altar itself of the Most High. Don't forget this. With this vision, with this understanding, you are ready to face hell. You are ready to face what may come and surpass them all because this is the faith of life with abundance, which is eternal. God bless you till tomorrow in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, in fact, tomorrow, Wednesday, at night, the night of the soul, I will be in the Temple of Solomon together with those who are interested in saving their soul. If you are interested in saving your soul, this Wednesday, the night of the soul, the night of the salvation of the soul, God bless you. Until then, Amen.